shenanigans. Can you not put put none of this up, man? We just having a conversation. Nigga, this you is don't control my media team. <laughs> Talk to me, nigga. What are you talking about, nigga? Clubhouse shenanigans on deck, nigga. You crazy? Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. Man. So, so Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't do it yet. You, ready? you want to do it or you got something else? We need to really talk about dick. Oh, shit, now. We need to talk about dick. Oh, shit. Hey, that's I a sweet t-shirt? I got mixed feelings about this. I got real mixed feelings about this. I, I I hate to say it, I think 50 being petty, he, he trying to push in line that he really ain't qualified to push like that. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Bro, you, you there, bro? Yeah, I really... Yeah. I see where you going with that, Wack. I know where you going with that. Uh, and she is... Yeah, because... Yeah, you're right. I, I don't understand, like, that dude's son... He got a product that says Living Legends, free him. His dad, Supreme, is on there. Meech is on there. Now, let's be real. Uh, Supreme, uh, when it comes to prison, especially the feds right now, is a household name, right? Let's name five, a couple household names that's in prison when it comes amongst the urban community, Larry Hoover, uh, uh, Supreme. Um, who else didn't been there? Meech. Meech. Yeah, he's a household name. Meech. That's three. Uh, who else we, you know, uh, at one time when he was there, rest in peace, um, Chaz Williams. Um, yeah, y'all, I'm about to say Chaz, but he did. Chaz That's Williams. Serious. And Chaz was the ones when y'all watched American Gangster the series that was in the feds and breaking out of the feds, robbing banks, and then checking itself back in while in That's the feds. Fact. That's Chaz Williams. Um, and you know what? Free Ray Ricky was a household name. These is five dudes because of their criminal empire, whatever they built. No matter what coast you was from you knew who these people were, right? So, Supreme Son, who had nothing to do with nothing, he probably was in diapers when his daddy fell, right? Some of you New Yorkers that may know, I'm, I, I think I'm pretty much on point with that. He in Detroit, he got this merch, Living Legends, Big Meech and his father, Supreme, on there. He finds out where Southwest T is. He pulls up on him, presents the merch with his dad and Southwest T's brother on there. Southwest T takes a picture. And 50 Cent gets, 50 Cent gets mad. He gets mad because Southwest T took a picture with this dude's son. Right? So now I'm like, they saying, yo, why would you take a picture with this dude knowing what's up with 50 and his father? You pushing the line on Southwest T because he took a picture with Supreme Son? Come on, 50. New Yorkers, chime in, bro. Chime in. I, am I right? Look, that nigga Fifth don't want nothing near him that got nothing to do with nothing that touched him. And I think anything... Then they, again, I understand what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I, I, I agree with you. Right. He just so petty, bro. He just so petty, bro. He don't fuck with nothing that is against him. So he don't fuck with Supreme. His bloodline, 20 years from now, he ain't gonna fuck with nothing they got going on. He ain't gonna fuck with none of them niggas that was around that. 
Anything that resembles that, he just not gonna fuck with it. That's just always been his whole thing. So I mean, I don't know if anybody else. And he not gonna fuck with you if you fuck with them. Yeah, and if you fuck with them, he ain't fucking with you. So let me get this right. So because he took a picture with Supreme Son with the merch that has his brother on it, it's fuck Southwest. Yeah, I think I think the way Fifth look at that is like. And he petty like that. He feel like the nigga trying to take, like, you trying to do that on purpose. You trying to shoot at me. Like, you trying to take a shot at me. You trying to go over there. It really ain't got nothing to do with him. Ain't got nothing to do with him. That's where me and you going to agree, Wack, right now. This ain't got shit to do with you, Fifth. You kind of inserting yourself. I mean, I never that heard petty, Supreme so. was gone. I don't think Southwest T and Meech had any crosses with Supreme. Supreme was already gone. He was gone. He was gone already. I don't think it's no, you know, so when you see him, that's Supreme Son. So in Southwest, he's supposed to tell a dude, fuck you, and create his own beef with him because of what if he got going on. I mean, yo, that's a petty, yo, yo, whack. That's a, that's a Southside Jamaica petty nigga, bro. I, there's no levels to that, like, how petty that nigga is, bro. I can't even fathom the levels of petty that this nigga's on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just fit people. He petty, bro. Like, very petty. Very petty. He don't fuck with, you know, he, he really don't fuck with, like, he don't fuck with his son because you feel like his son just won't, like, really bow down to the nigga on some, like, on some whole other shit. And then his son be like, and same thing with his son. His son took a picture with a nigga. Now, fuck you in that nigga. It's like, yo, bro, it's your fucking son, though, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just petty, bro. He petty. He don't fuck with Supreme and them niggas at all. Zero. Okay, why, that's cool. Why T want to reach out to no, his no, 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 no. Supreme son reached he, out to T. He ain't reached out to nobody. That's Supreme son. He running around with these living legend shirts with Meech and his dad on them. So when T see it, he see a nigga son, that's my brother, that's Prem. Shit, that's my brother. I ain't, that's my brother. That's Prem. I ain't got no problem. It's Prem son. My brother on there. You know, I right, shit, I'm I hey, living legends. Take the picture. So I don't know what was going on. He sounded to me like he finna try to cut dude water off and stars all kind of crazy shit oh he so, definitely gonna try to cut his water off for sure it's so petty. southwest t was supposed to tell supreme son get the fuck away from <laughs> nah, man, I, I don't politics know. is politicking nah, i know that shit crazy like Come what on, what is Finn right. expect him to say like for real he's gonna tell nigga oh fuck you get out of here little nigga i want to talk to you you a bitch. Like, what are you gonna tell that little boy? You don't know that little boy? Like you said, like, that little boy yeah. wasn't around with him. Like, even when his dad and it was like, that boy wasn't around. He wasn't living like that. Not at all. Haley too, probably. He's a little kid. I don't know, bro. If it's wild for this. 50 <laughs> He gonna have some explanation for this shit. Some, some, some crazy shit coming out. Of this. You know, 50. Hold on. Nah. Supreme ain't been gone since no fucking 89. Hell no. Nah, because this happened on the murdering shit. At least from prison parole in 94. Okay. So he came, he went back. Let's see. I think a fifth life ain't been the same since Ghetto Quran, man. That Ghetto Quran changed his life. He should have never said that man's name. He was sentenced to 12 years. 
if you never heard 50 Cent Ghetto Quran, go listen to it. Tony Sean is previous. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Drug Lord gets life from prison. Hey, 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 Gino. Gotta say that. Gino said, whack. Politics. He said, politics is politics. He said, whack. You once said. A wrong, a, a right, a right situation will make a yeah, wrong. Yeah, but this, is, this ain't really the bro. This is a you don't nigga. think it's that? This bro, it's a nigga's son who I yeah. can understand if the son was active. You know, that's real. That's real. I you can't know, see. I don't some, get it either. He has some participation in what that went on. And I can in T Southwest T is not a gangster. Everybody knows that. <laughs> not a gangster. Hey, he tagged Rick Ross in that pic too with them taking a picture on. He said shout out to Rich Ever too in that same pic. Oh, uh, you see what I, I think I, I think that's what 50 going with it. Like the, I think he feel like the little nigga trying to play with him. Like he trying to play he a little. Said what? Go ahead, bro. Um, 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 shout Reese. out to who? He said, "Shout out to Rich Forever" in that post with uh, the young bulls and uh, um, T. So well, that, that, he that, shouting out Rick Ross. Yeah, that's Rick Ross that he's shouting out. Yeah. So and let me it. get this right. Whoever Fifty Cent don't get along with, everybody else supposed to inherited that. Yes, why you didn't know that? That's how 50 rolls. That 50's whole MO. His whole MO is if I don't fuck with you, you we can't fuck with you. Why you say that? He ain't trying to get rid of his enemies, bro. Come on. What you talking about, bro? Yeah, that's true. But but he always had been petty like that. Like, I think who yo, who did he cut off? He cut somebody off because they was with some other nigga that he wasn't fucking with. Matter of fact, how him and Fat Joe got in beef. He inherited all that New York beef because them niggas would not stop hanging with Ja Rule. And he like, yo, what you mean? Like, they looking at him like, why would I stop hanging with Ja Rule because you beefing with him? Well, all right, then nigga, fuck you, Fat Joe, and fuck you, Jada Kiss, and fuck, fuck that nigga. Jada Kiss. He uh, went at everybody because they wait, would so, not stop hanging with Ja with, with Ja. Bro, 50 Cent beef yeah, with New York was all over Ja Rule. That's what right. that shit was over, Wack. 100% Ja Rule. If you didn't want to stop hanging with Ja Rule, 50 Cent was going to find a way to beef with you. He was going to diss you when you was down, do something. That was his MO. Zim, he got mad at Game because Game wouldn't diss Jada. And go, that's what it was. I was looking Remember for that shit? Yes. He, he was diss- mad at the Game in New York. Can't- no, he wanted to diss Fat Joe. And he wanted to diss Fat Joe in the, and he wouldn't do it. And the nigga he got mad at the nigga. Like, what? Why nah, remember Game it? spoke about that shit. Game was like, I fuck with them. He said, I fuck with yeah, Kiss. Yeah, because like, New York racist. niggas. When I first came in, exactly. He like, I'm not. That's when he told 50, I wasn't made to be the G-Unit soldier. No, nigga from Paul Rue. That's a fact, huh? I, come on, man. We, we we know this shit, man. 50's a pretty nigga, man. I would nigga, think man. he would have had the, the uh, son would at least had to probably get me uh, blessing and making the merch, right? He ain't just jump out the window, put his face on there. I hope not. I mean, you got what I'm saying. Me ain't got a problem with Supreme. Oh yeah, that's different then. Yeah, them two niggas ain't got no problems. It'd be different if the nigga was trying to do it and like he trying to like Meech ain't fuck with it and nobody's fucking with it and the nigga trying to run it up to run it off the back of the merch and all that in the show. Then I, maybe maybe you make it simple. Right now I'm, I'm not getting I'm not getting it. Like why making it make sense? I don't what does he have to do with this? It's nothing to do with you. No, what I'm saying is, okay, well, why are you turn it up on Southwest T? Like that's a whole nother thing. He said Southwest T ain't getting no money. <laughs> I mean, that didn't make him no money. He was just honoring the youngster and his brother. Y'all remember when um, 50 Sun was hanging with Supreme Sun. That was an issue. 
Even though That's 50 ain't fuck with his son, but that was an issue at one point. But I seen a podcast with 50, with uh, Supreme Son, and he said, you know, they worked it out or whatever. But he spoke about it. Like, yeah, they had that was a whole issue. I don't know who that other little boy is in the pic. I don't know if that's T's son, but these little youngers be hanging together. Mm-hmm. That's crazy how that be working though, because I went to I went to school with like uh, Michelangelo, uh, son, Milo, and uh, he died. Michelangelo. Away. Yeah, the Pope on the hustles. You mean the painter, like the white nigga that painted Jesus? No, no, no. You're Bo- talking about the Ninja Turtle. Bo C H. That's what they. Nigga, how the fuck? I'm a mute. Yo, I'm t- tired of this nigga right here. Yo, who is it? Is this Pharaoh again? You, you've been on a roll today with some bullshit, bro. You all right? <laughs> nigga, did you just come off the mic and tell us you went to school with with a Ninja Turtle nigga? Get son? that nigga, <laughs> bro. And we sitting there talking about big meats. We talking about real gangsters, real killers, and they son. Supreme son, see what was going on. Let's see what the conversation is. And we got 50 response. First and foremost, it's always going to be free meats, free preem. Salute to the biggest to ever do it, both of them. Shout out Southwest T. You always solid, general. I pulled up to Detroit to give Southwest T the Living Legends joint with, you know, meats and preem on it. And then everybody's on. And then this bozo, look at this bozo. Like, why are you so mad? You got everything in the world to be doing right now. You worry about what's going on with me, man. Relax, man. Relax. Go have some. Go, go, get, go, go. Have a drink. And relax, man. It's too hot for this, man. Living Legend shirts is available right now. Shout out Southwest T, a real one, real solid. There's no BMF without Southwest T. Let's get that straight. <laughs> Respect, man. Respect to all the ones in Detroit. Salute the meats. Free meats. Free, and it's always gonna be free preem. Yeah. <laughs> First and foremost is always. First and foremost is always. Hold on, I got the other one to play. Hold on. I ain't seen no audio for the uh, meat 50 cent response. What he did a text or a verb? 50 cent said, Hey, I know T feel like he not making the money little Meech is making, but I thought they would be happy for him. It's not like I didn't help your family make millions. Cool. When stars start X suggesting, suggesting and to make the wrong moves, I'm simply going to sit back and watch. Don't worry, you will be off the air in no time. That's 50 cent response. Cold nigga. Nah, not fit about the kill off T in the show for no reason. That shit ain't got to come off, fit. Wow. What kind of what? Over a T-shirt? You about to kill T? He ain't even doing Bro, nothing. Terry doing good in the what? show. You want to play this other link that you sent? Uh, yeah, play it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 play that one. Because that's, that's T talking to, to Supreme. Yeah, 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 You got the front, yeah, I do the back. Yeah, I had to throw that on there, man. Yeah, and listen, this, nice. this is, this is, this moment right here is, 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 is monumental to me, man. Yeah. I drove nine hours to come pull up on y'all. Nah, man, man no it's shit. Nine ain't hours, no. yo. Man, listen, I, you feel me? Nine hours. Listen, man, listen. Yo. Listen. <laughs> From, from, it's in your blood, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all chose the way of life and stood on it. One thing I respect, Pop. You know what I'm saying? I always respect them. It's in your blood, bro. I you know, it. he's an honorable man, man. And I know Chris and speak highly of him. Yeah. I used to just sing. I never had the pleasure, but I used to sing. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 We get you in the middle. I mean, you know. Zane, I mean, what we. Wow. Oh, I'm oh, all, yo, Wack, I don't even know, Wack. Like, it, it get weird and weird about a second, bro. Because, like I said, you're right. 
That's a little kid, bro. He don't got nothing to do with that shit, bro. That nigga drove nine hours, giving me yeah. his t-shirt. <laughs> like, I'm, like the whole way that kid just did that shit, that shit bothered me, man. That made me feel some type of way, bro. Yeah, but I'm said, saying, bro. <laughs> nigga said, I drove nine hours, man. I drove. He didn't even fly. He drove to them nigga. That's how you know he was... Come on, Fed. Come on, Fed. And you gonna, and you gonna kill T off? He gonna kill T off in the show? What T do? T didn't even do nothing. The, the, the dude was talking, talking crazy, crazy in no it. jumper interview though about fifty, uh, Prem son. Well, uh, oh, there yeah. go. Let's get to that. that. That been going on. That ain't because fifty be taking shots at. The, I don't think fifty should have never said nothing to the little nigga. I think it started with fifty son went over there with the little. Nigga. I think fifty son went over there. To yeah. The yep. 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 That's where it started at. This is crazy. 50 patty as hell though. What's up y'all, what's good? How y'all doing? Oh. Oh, these niggas is wearing purses. See, I, see these niggas getting funnier and funnier, bro. Who wearing purses? You must saw the oop.